our next guest has been a friendly face in your living room for almost 60 years, would you believe? Yeah, away from Coronation <laughs> Street, he's known as Bill Roach, but to most of us, of course, he will always be the legendary Ken Barlow. Should we go out later on? You're meeting a girl. All right, I'll get it. You know, I, I really would like to see more of you. Darling, you got to let me know. What's your name, Gorgeous? Should I stay or should I go? Don't look at it. With my body, I the honour. Man and wife. I'll be here till the end. Oh come on, Kang, you've been oversensitive. Should I stay or should I go now? Should I I thought she was asleep. She looks so peaceful. Why do you never truly appreciate anything until it's taken away? Goodbye, my love. I have to tell him. No! They've got cervical cancer. Nothing more they can do for it. Wow, oh. Bill. I mean, you, even we're all silent watching that. Well, the, the Sinead story was very moving and we were all affected by it. And they, they were very good, Rob and Kate, doing it. It was... Brilliant. Well, you're all very good. Oh, well, thank that, you. Everybody involved. And, and there you are, 59 years in Coronation Street. There from the very beginning. Yeah. The only, only person yes, there the only one from, from the, the very, very beginning. beginning. And yet there you are now, involved massively in the big storyline of the moment. Yeah. I know. Well, it, it, I'm so lucky. I mean, I'm just really lucky to be in Coronation Street. I love it. I enjoy going to work. And 60 years of gone like that, you know, it's quite, quite frightening, but And I you don't look it. back and you look at your son Linus and you see the big productions he's in and whatever, and you don't look back and you think, I could have taken a different path, I could have been yes. in the movies, I could have done other things. Yes, because when I, when it was first offered, I didn't want to do it. I just got the lead in a play <clears throat> in 1959, the play of the week was the highlight of the week. Yeah. And I had the lead as a young soldier in Germany. So this was coming out and then my agent said, Granada want you for, he said, I think it's a little comedy like Norman Evans and Over the Garden War. I said, well, I, I don't want to do it. And he said, might as well do the pilot, you've got nothing else to do. And then they said, we, they want you. I said, I don't want to do it, my play's coming out. He said, well, think of this, you're going out twice a week in Coronation Street and you've got a play after the you've been seen. What a shop window that is. Yeah. And it's only going to run for 11 weeks. <laughs> wow, well, 60 years <laughs> later. Long, 60 weeks, years later. Now, are you a victim of your looks and your health? Uh, because... Uh, Without embarrassing you, I want to say you're 87 years of age. You just look stupendous. You could easily pass for 55, 60 or whatever. Is that luck? Is that nature? Is that nurture? Well, what is that? it's the genes to begin with, but then it's what you do with them, isn't it? I mean, you can dissipate yourself with what you eat and how you live. But the main thing is that ageing is a belief system. If you think, as I get older, I'm going to get slower and, oh, I'm 50, I can't do this now, you will slow down. Your cells renew themselves all the time. And if you slow down, your cell renewal process slows down. Also, there are certain basic things to, to living a good life. Are you getting enough sleep? You need your seven to eight nope. hours, because that's when the body, he uh, uh, the uh, body uh, heals itself yeah. when you're sleeping, Eamon. Yeah. Get your sleep in. But I can't sleep. Well... I don't know what... I mean, well, I, then I, I find it, this fascinating. All, okay, all OK, well, we'll talk about meditation mm. later on. And then uh, food, you need... We, you can't get your five a day, but you know you want to get as many fresh vegetables, food that hasn't got chemicals in it. So is that when you'd avoid processed foods? Well, uh, where you can. can. Again, I talk about moderation and enjoyment. Uh, going on strict diets where you're not enjoying it. And I know, we all know what's bad for us. We know what's good for us. Try and trim down the bad and build up the good. And then exercise, fresh air and stress, of course. Worst and thing. that's where meditation can come in. You see, you, I, I would often find excuses for not doing things. And then I was reading about you and we were talking across the studio there and you go on um, fitness classes, but they're fun fitness yes. classes. And who would expect to turn up to their class and see Ken Barlow yeah. running about? What sort of things do you do in your well, class? Well, it's just an hour. It's called Fun Fit with, with a group I'm with, which is absolutely wonderful. And it, I can't do dead exercise in a gym, but we do a bit of boxing, a bit of basketball. We have to... It's all very competitive, you have to run from one end to the other in little teams and you, you've got to beat, beat people. And the young children and me, 
You know, full Fantastic. spectrum of people. That's and brilliant. by the end of it, you're absolutely knackered. 87. 87. 87. What was the reaction to people in the class and saying, there's your man? There's well, they all know me very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you're, you're a fantastic advert for, oh, well, thank for you. keeping fit, thank but you. I, I really want to talk to you about meditation because yes. that's all very fast and furious. Mm. Your working life is very fast and furious. Yeah. So many episodes now, as I said, you're yeah. involved in these huge storylines, yeah. lots of lines to learn. <clears throat> Meditation, you say, is the thing that you can then step away from this yes. rush of Yeah, it, it, it is a discipline, but I think that you, didn't, you don't have to be sitting in the yoga position doing this and have candles and things. Basically, I would call it a tea break from life. And what you need is a place in your home and a chair. And when you go to that, and if you can go to the same place every time it helps, as you walk towards that, you leave everything, all your worries, all your cares, leave them at the door, you'll pick them up later, Sit in that chair and have a tea break from life. Just doing that for five minutes. And can That's you literally do that <coughs> when you're in a busy place? I mean, obviously you have a place in your home. No, you can. You can. But can you step you, away when you're on set? I mean, for instance, it? often Ruth does interviews, and I just want to go. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. I can understand that. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, what is is it about closing your eyes? Is it about? No. How? Well, let me just talk about that because what happens is you do all that and you sit in this chair and then suddenly. Mother-in-law's coming at the weekend. So what you do, you can't not think and you can't stop thoughts coming in, but let them go through. Now, you need something to think about. So what I think about, you balance your breathing and you think of the waves coming in on the seashore. How do you balance your breathing? Well, just, just think about your breathing being even, not deep, being even. Now, think about the waves on the seashore as they're coming in, breathe in, and as they're going out, breathe out. And then if a thought comes in or something, just let it pass and go back to breathing in, water coming in and water going out. And then what you're doing there, you're getting the control of what you think about. You don't just let thoughts come in willy-nilly. They come in, but let them go through. I'd love to agree with all that, but the PA has just said 45 seconds left on the programme. <laughs> um, I'm trying to ignore her. But, the well, sea's coming in. But, <laughs> push her away. It's Let's... not good television watching somebody <laughs> meditate. Well, look, I tell you, but it is a great, great read. Uh, William Roach, 87 years of age. Uh, that's his book, Life and Soul, How to Live a Long and Happy Life. And I think... The happy bit is very important. Very too. enjoyment. Now, I do balance, enjoyment Ten are, the, seconds. are the key thing. <laughs> but also, I've done the audio book. Have you done an audio book? I have, oddly enough. It's yes. hard work, but it's not being publicised. <laughs> I've done Bill, the audio book. Lovely to see you. Live a long <laughs> and happy <laughs> life. Thank you. Thank you very much.